Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. If you're returning, thank you for returning. Okay, so <clears throat> for those of you who are new and returning, a quick layout of the show. Um, during the show, I will take callers. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. I also take questions on YouTube chat. So if you are watching the show live on YouTube, you can put a question in the chat and I'll be happy to get to that question also. Please be patient whether you are calling in or in the chat, I do the best I can to get to everybody in the hour's time, which is the amount of time of the show for TD. This show does air on WSCS. All of their streaming channels, all of their um, all of their channels. By the way, I'm up for awards on WSCS, which just makes me giggle because <laughs> oh, because it does. Um, who would have thought, right? Not me. <laughs> Although I have won awards with them previously. But I, I mean, like, I never thought I would be on TV doing this. Maybe like a, like a wanted with a reward. <laughs> and I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I hope you're laughing. <laughs> I fancy myself a little funny. So please go with it. <laughs> um but uh, but also, Jesus, okay. And then I also air on Rude Rangers TV, all of their um, streaming channel podcasts and radio stations, and then all of the podcast stations that I put the, the show on. So if you would like to watch the show live, it is every Monday at um, noon central and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central. Um, prior to taking calls, which I will get to, or answering questions in the live stream, I do a little something called names and songs. And what that is, is I just, I say names that I hear. This could be your name. It could be your loved one on the other side's name, or it could be the name of a, your horse, your dog, whatever the name is, that's it. When I say the songs, um, it could be a song they loved, you loved, or reminds you of them, or answers a question to a problem you have been having, or helps you on your path in some way. Genevieve, I'm sorry, um, I was doing songs in the chat earlier, and I was getting this song, and I could not get it, so I finally got it. It's uh, Give a Little Bit, Give a Little Bit of Your Love to Me. And I could not, it, it took me so long to get the words to like, I could hear the song, but like off in a dip, distance. Uh, please don't make me uh, go on beat with that. Please don't try to make me sing it because yeah, it took me so long just to get that. <laughs> okay, the next, uh, I'm going to do names now. Um, <clears throat> Oh, it, it's one she loves. It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. Um, and then I did Sal's song and Rebecca's song. And Mo, I didn't get to you because you just checked in. So Mo, I'm going to give you a song quick. Wait, Mo actually says, I'm struggling in my relationship. Can I please get some guidance from Spirit about what I can do right now? Um, love yourself. Now, that's the first thing I heard. I know it sounds cliche. We always want to go to the other person and fix it. We always want to come up with the solution. Sometimes the solution is just to get back into ourselves and love ourselves. Now, having said that, that is not what, when I have been in relationships in the past, that is not what I have done. I have like <laughs> been all over the place. Um Mo, what I'm going to, uh, another way for me to say this or explain it is sometimes people, when we get in a relationship, we put a lot of focus and time and energy into the other person and trying to make sure everything goes so good and so right. And um, 
And I've been that person. We've all been that person that we forget about ourselves. And they're asking you to let go of the relationship for a moment because it's time for you to refocus on you and your goals and not let it go like we're broken, broken up. That's it. But just to take all of your thoughts and your mind, get, take some um, uh, paper and pen, not computer, not phone, paper and pen. Have them every place. I can, I can pull out like 20 papers and, um, and notebooks that are always around me. And like I have two, I think I have another pen. I have a big Sharpie marker, paper and pen and start writing, make like a, like a, 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 in sections, in sections, all the things that be prior to the relationship you wanted to accomplish, things you were working on, things you have kind of put in the back and start working on them again, okay? And then Mo, you're supposed to start writing, I do believe there's a book in you, and I believe this is going to be quite, uh, this book has quite a bit of potential. Um, by the way, Sal, is your book out? Um, this book, I believe it is. Uh, this book has quite a bit of potential. I believe it is going to be uh, quite an extraordinary book, whatever this book is about. Okay. I didn't even, I, I, I okay, so now I'm going to do names because um, it's really important to me that I do the names and the songs in the beginning because those who don't get questions, who, who can't call in, who can't watch live, I might, or those who are listening and or watching, I may say the name of a loved one or your name from a loved one. So Katerina, and you know what, you know what I just heard? This could be, this is two, two different things. Okay. Their name could be Kat, there is not, there's somebody with the name Katerina out there. Okay, there is. And that is for someone. Then I'm also hearing Katerina Island. So if there was someone that lived on or you went to with or wanted to or Katerina Island meant something that is also a confirmation your loved one is here. That's what these are confirmations your loved ones are around you. The next name is again, Joshua. Josh, there's always Joshua's around aren't there always. Um, Lindsay, Lila, um, okay, this is going to sound weird, but I'm just going to say it. Somebody loved who loved linguine with clams, either you or them, linguine with clams in the white wine sauce. Oh my gosh. I want that recipe. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Um, Okay, then the next name is M Michelle, which comes through every single week, but there's a lot of Michelles out there. So it could be, and if I say a name and somebody claims it, it could be for more than one person, okay? It could be for like 10 people, 20 people, okay? Because there is a lot of people here. Um, the next name I'm hearing is Wilbert. <laughs> I love that name. But they may have called him Bert or Willie, depending on who he was hanging with, Wilbert um, or Will. Okay, the next name is Germain. Germain. I, I could be G-E-R-M. Maybe the, maybe the, G isn't pronounced like a G. Maybe it's Germain or Hermain. I don't know what, what you're going to know. You're going to know if that's your name, if that's for you. Um, the next name is Romero. Oh my gosh. I can never roll my tongue. And that just came right out. Romero. <laughs> okay. Okay. The next name is um, Julia, but like Julia, like French, Julia. But if it's not and it's yours, take it, take it. The next name is um, Pop, oh, Pop. The next name is um, 
G- Gilbert. Okay. Um, and the name Daniel, and then they're singing that song, Daniel, my friend, you are, or Daniel, my brother, you are, so whatever it is, but Daniel, okay? Um, and that is one of the songs. Um, two more names, guys, only two more. Give me, give me what you got. Um, <clears throat> Tanisha. And then it's a, it's a place. I think it's a place. It's not a name. Liverpool. Liverpool. Okay. And then I hear War, Warsaw. Warsaw. Which is very difficult for my mouth to pronounce. And there's that. Okay, now we're going to go to songs. And again, the song can be the answer to a question, just a confirmation. Um, whatever the song is for you, it's okay. Okay. <clears throat> The first song that I'm hearing is, um, well, actually, they're not giving me a song because somebody is using the statement and giving me this statement in an instant. And I I know there's, there's a, there might be a song that starts in an instant. I don't think those are the words for some reason, but in an instant, your life can change. Believe. It can change for the better. Okay, I know where this is gonna go. Okay, we might not do songs today because we're gonna do some. Um, we're gonna do some channeling and some. Um, you know, on this show, I often talk about how relationships should also be looked at as businesses, right? Like. You're a business, they're a business, and you and if you if and you come together, right? Okay, so if you are a business, this is where they, they were giving me this all all morning. As a matter of fact, and I wasn't sure if they were gonna um, have it on the show, but apparently, <clears throat> excuse me, apparently they are. So I often talk about that. If you look at yourself as a business and you allow somebody into your life, you want to make sure that they are qualified to be your business partner. Today, we're going to take that to a bigger scope. And we're going to say, if you are a business and you are, your life is a business. And you're the one who needs to continually and constantly be in control of your business, right? You need to be so strong in your vision for your business and who you are and where you're going and what you want. And sometimes somebody comes into your life and they might take you off the track of your business and you end up on the track of their business or taking care of them or whatever it is. And if that's the case and you have a purpose here and you want to accomplish your purpose, destiny will step in and start to separate the two of you. Now, the most successful couplings that I have seen in some in some cases are those that are so strong in their purpose and their business. Uh, Now, your purpose may be to take care of the man you're with, and there's nothing wrong with that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. That can be your business. okay? because. Maybe he is a very high powered, very successful or very hardworking man that needs somebody to take care of him. However, if that is not your purpose and you're with somebody who is not that type of person who might be taking advantage or whatever it is, uh, but you have your own purpose, your own business, and you're going off track, you will be re- redirected and given the opportunity to stay in alignment with your business in a way that 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 allows you to cre- create what you came here to create, okay? So if you are, no matter what you're doing, you have the potential to create many streams to your business being your person You're not necessarily or in whole an actual business, but your career, your finances, 
what whatever it is. So if you're a business, let's look at you like a, for a, for the sake of this, like a tree, you are rooted in the ground and each branch is an area of your business. So you have a branch that is your family branch. You have a branch that is your work branch. You have a branch that is your friend branch. And then you have your branch that is possibly, let's just say your extended family branch. Okay. And your job is from the roots up to nurture each of these branches. Now, if something comes in or someone comes in that takes you off of track of your personal tree, your branches, whatever you wanna call it may step in and help you get back on track with that. Now in your, I wanna talk for a moment about your business being your work and your actual business and how we're still kind of at the beginning of the year, how you can expand that. Because everything on this planet or this plane is about expansion. And we are supposed to always be looking for ways to expand, expand our work, expand our career, expand our ideas, which when we do that brings us more finances. So we always say, I want more money. I need more money we have to find expansion within that branch that is our work branch. And we can create a whole nother branch. Like if we have a job, we can create, or we may have another branch, excuse me, that is a whole entrepreneur branch. And all of us, each and every one of us has the ability to be an entrepreneur with or without partners in whatever it is we do or the skills or gifts that we have. Even if you're, let's say, a secretary or an office admin person, you can start a business where you contract office admin work or secretarial work or whatever it is. And then you can eventually bring on people that you contract out also. There is no such thing as a person who cannot do that. If you're a waitress, okay, I'm going to just throw different things out there. If you're a waitress, you can start a business that contracts waitresses for different restaurants when they don't have enough people. They don't want to hire this person on, but they can bring them on for a night if somebody calls in sick. That's a great business idea. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> pay attention, folks, because there are going to be some golden nuggets dropped here in this. That is a freaking great business idea. Um, and all you have to do is, is have waitresses that have worked different types of environments and are willing, if they don't have something to do, to be on call for that night and go into five star, two star, one star. Eh, maybe, maybe not the Waffle House so much, but you know, other places where they can waitress. Okay. Another one is have guest bartenders, bartenders that can do all those drinky tricks with make phenomenal drinks and flip bottles without breaking them. I can barely, barely carry a bottle without breaking it. Um, and have them contract them to go into bars um, and do guest bartending. I mean, there's just a couple of examples of, of how you can create another branch or open up your entrepreneur branch with what you might already do and see a, a, a have a, seeing a limit on it. If no matter what you do, if you've mastered it, the next step is to bring people on, teach them, and then contract them out have them be then doing it. And there's more than enough because the more people you have, the more business you will get. I've seen it so many times. I don't care what you do for a living. It is doable. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to start taking, um, I'm going, uh, the, the, okay. The, I was going to start to take up colors, but they want me to say one more thing. If you are a business, okay. I want you to think of if you actually owned a business and it was a, a, a like a storefront or a restaurant or whatever it is, whatever analogy you want to 
is how would you make people treat that business? It's time to hold people accountable, not in a way of telling them, but to treat you to be with you the way you would want them to be. If you owned a Bentley, who would you borrow it to? And who would you let drive in it with you? You're the Bentley. How would you, would you let people get in your Bentley and slam your door and put their feet up if it's like muddy and dirty? No, you wouldn't. So don't let people do that with you. Okay, so treat yourself in the way that you would treat your physical items that you cherish or if you had a physical item that you cherished. And don't let anybody cross that line. Now, once you make the line in your mind, 99% of the people are not going to cross it because people read energy or feel energy. There's going to be that one little poop starter that's going to be like, I'm going to try you. I'm going to test and see if you're really on your boundaries. And then you just say, excuse me, that's very disrespectful. Or don't do that again. You don't have to make a big thing saying, my favorite way of saying it is, hmm, how, how did you mean that? And then I watch them kind of backpedal and say, uh, make up a new meaning for it. Huh. How did you mean that? Oh, interesting. Why would you think that? Why would you say that? Mm -hmm. Who taught you that was okay? Who who taught you that was okay? Did your did your mama teach you that was okay? Was it your daddy? Who taught you it was okay? Okay. Just just wondering. Don't don't get up with don't, don't get upset with me. You're the one who said it. You know? Who taught you it was okay? Hmm. Okay. That's it. That's all I have on that. We're going to go to callers and questions now. So please be patient. We're going to get into it. Here we go. 310, what's your name and where are you calling from? Yes. Hi. My name is Susan and I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Susan, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Susan, I'm going to be doing a, a show, an event, a live event in Florida on February 2nd in Daytona. Thank you for reminding me, everybody. February 2nd, Daytona, Cinematique, 8 p.m. Come join me. Okay, Susan, what's your question? <laughs> Yes, I actually um, just um, had a second interview. They offered me the position. I'm wondering if it's going to be a good choice for me. Are you, uh, uh, is she working? No. Susan, you currently have a job? Yes. Okay. Um, here's what I... You can, of course, take this position. I hear in a month there's going to be a better position. Um, as far as people you're going to be working with and pay. So this is going to be with okay. in a month or about a month's time. Something better is going to come in. And it is going to be a stronger position. Now, if you did not have a position currently, I would say take this and keep looking. That would be my advice to you. Take this position and keep looking because, or if somebody calls you for another interview or somebody you've already sent out to, definitely take it because you're going to really think, ah, oh, I like this one so much better. And they don't want you to miss this opportunity. Now, if you feel like you know, this position you've been offered, you don't want to miss out on it. Um, you can say, yes, I feel like by the time you would start this position, you will be interviewing for the next position. And then you will get it shortly thereafter. 
Um, it's just going to be a completely different energy and a little bit more, not a lot more money, but a little more money, but a different energy. Um, so I, but okay. again, you can take this position. It will be good. Uh, you won't after two months. Here's what I can tell you that they're telling me. So if you take this position, I want to know in two months. After two months, you won't like the position anymore. If you take the position that's being okay. offered to you after two months, like the newness is going to wear off and the rawness is going to be there and you're going to be like, what did I do? Um, and then you're going to want to um, jump ship now. So, but you can, by all me, I, I always tell everybody, I'm not the boss of you. I'm just letting you know what, what your loved ones and such see for you. If you, okay. if you keep putting out there or take interviews that are going to come in within a month, right about a month time, is she going to get the, is she going to get the job in a month? No, she, you're going to get a, a call or an interview right around a month time. And that's, that's that, that's going to be that you're going to be like, I want to stay here till I retire. I want to stay here for as long as I can. The company is going to be very open. Um, as far as like, how do I say it? it's going to be a very, uh, like, a, a people that work there are in are generally happy is what I want to say. It's like a good, happy place to work. They're showing me, I don't know why they're showing me this, but they're showing me like dolphins. <laughs> like, I don't know why, <laughs> but they're showing me, like, I think because dolphins make me so happy personally, but, um, but yes, I think they're showing me that either because maybe it, this place has something to do. I don't know. I don't want to say that, but it's going to just be a good place. Okay. Whatever that means for you. Okay. So do you think this second job is going to be in a different state? Because I'm applying out of state right now, but you said dolphins. And to me, dolphins um, means near the water. What what state? And what state are you I, applying I'm contemplating to? to the, okay, so right now the job is in North Carolina that they offered me, but I also have considered going back to California. So, this the second job is the job in a month in North. I feel like it's going to end up being North Carolina. I, but I feel okay. like the second job is coming from there also. Okay. Okay. I feel like the second job is going to come from that area also. Okay. So, so do you think I should go ahead and leave the job I'm in? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not until you get the, the job that is perfect. Not until you get the okay. job that is, because here's the thing. Um, don't jump ship until you're jumping either into a lifeboat or a bigger ship. That's just, you know, the okay. way I'm hearing it. If you absolutely need to go, you can go into a lifeboat, which would be the job that you just had the second interview with. But you I go ahead and get there and then maybe get the other one. <laughs> right. I feel like if you just hold up, you can do it either way. Um, at least you'll have something secure, but keep looking because in about a month's time, you're going to find this job or this somehow this job is going to come across you, whether it's you looking or someone telling you, and it's a better job and you're going to love it. Okay, love? Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the, all that you shared with me. Oh, Great. you are so welcome. Have an amazing week. And thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to try to find the first question, which might be a little bit difficult for me to do. I think I did Mo. Here we go. Um, hey, Genevieve. Um, Nancy. Hi, Tony. What can I do for my dry skin? I feel that the kind of chemicals in my tap water are drying up my skin. Yeah, Nancy, you're probably right. What I do, I can tell you what I do and I can make some fruit is 
okay they're gonna they're just gonna jump right in it's not what i was gonna say first fruit is the most natural hydrator there is second um instead of drinking regular water coconut water is extremely hydrating and i have coconut water all the time and you know it's it's very dry where i am with forced air and everything the next thing is products that you put on your skin for um you know skin care i personally started using a company called cos c o s r x cos r x it's a korean company and they in other countries they don't have all the chemicals that we do it's it's um, the first time I put these products on, I just was floored with how it felt in my skin. The next thing that I would say, it, water does make a huge difference, especially in your hair and skin. And you can get a shower filter, a filter you put like off of your shower, and that will make a huge difference also. I don't use american lotions or creams on my skin any longer because they've changed so dramatically so i either use argan oil or almond oil a lot of times i even wash my face with um olive oil i don't use a soap um on my face at all any any longer so those are the things that I would say, and thank you so much for that question. Those are the things I would say as far as um, from the water to what you're putting in your body and what you're putting in your body is so important. Um, it starts on the inside and goes out. So as much fruit as you can handle, whatever fruit you can handle is, is really important. And then what you're putting on your skin after the shower that's that's what i have for that that's sorry that's that that is it um <clears throat> i'm gonna go to the next color and that is five eight five eight six what's your name and where are you calling from hi my name is Cheryl. i'm calling from michigan how are you i am good how are you i'm fine thank you yes i'm i would like a message from the other side please Okay, my grandmother Lele. Lele? Lele. Yes. Okay, Grandma Lele. Okay, I see two women come in. One of them near the end, I can tell. Well, it seems like she may have lived a little bit longer. She was very, a little bit more frail and more petite when she passed. Um, and the other woman, and this may be her when she was younger, is big and robust, not like huge but like you know healthy and robust um she is a younger uh -huh. woman okay so whether these are the same women or two different women the biggest message i get for you and then i'm hearing a name which i'm gonna say i'm actually hearing two names which i'm gonna say if they're not for you they're for somebody else and you may or these may be people in your lineage you know or are not aware of renee and bonnie okay Bonnie and Renee. Renee and Bonnie. So if these aren't yours, I apologize. They're just slipping their name in. I always say them when I hear them. Okay. The, what, what they want to okay. say to you is this. Uh, um, okay. So what they... <laughs> I'm giggling because I'm hearing music. And I, again, I'm having, it's like the music is really far away. I know the song, but I'm not catching the words yet. You got patrolling. <laughs> da -da -na, trying to catch me right and dirty. Okay, that's the first song. That's the first song. And then there is another song. And, the, and I'm go, I'm gonna try to catch the second song too. I'm gonna try to catch the second song. I am, I'm gonna try to catch it because it's further. Oh. It's um 
Turn, turn out the, it's it, there's they're saying Barry White. One of them wants me to sing Barry White, and I'm saying I can't sing anything, but Barry White is so far out. But there's this turn down the lights or turn out the lights or something like that. Maybe it's Barry White, maybe it's somebody else, but these are the songs that they're bringing through. Um, so the, the reason they're doing that is because it's really important for you to really laugh at this time. Realize they're using the word you're you're doing um, magnificent. You're doing so much better than you think you are. You came in with some very, very, very big goals. Um, on the okay, I normally don't get messages like this uh, on air, but I'm just going to go <laughs> with what they're telling me. So I want you to like take a breath and let it absorb. On the other side, when you were planning okay. out this existence, you made some really big goals, okay? And you feel like you're there's a part of you, someplace deep inside of you, you feel like you should be further along or you should be, um, you're, you're a little off track or something, and you're not. You're right on track. Everything that has happened, it could have happened this way or this way. Either way it happened, it was a good way for it to happen because the important thing is that you learned what you were supposed to learn from the things that you have gone through. So that is that is like, I hear that song, level up, level up, level up. I can't even sing it. It's I, I, just, just too many L's in a row. Um, but that, like you have been incrementally taking stock and taking this in and and um, you feel like they've like this. This has been so difficult, or I've made so many mistakes, and that that is not the case because you cannot. You have learned how to protect yourself, how to have better boundaries, how to pick better people for your life, how to move forward. They're saying in silence, move forward in silence, like like you're, you're yes. like you're creeping. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Like, like you don't even let them hear you coming now. And by the time you're in front of them, you're, you own the game, so to say. Uh, but don't do anybody dirty. Okay. Yes. Um, but what so there's... Can you give me a little inspiration, like, as far as my life purpose? Okay. So, yeah. Like a little we, insight we were, on my we, life purpose? Yeah. You know what's really crazy is I did hear... I yes. heard something and then I said, okay, I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll get there because I'm saying all this other <laughs> stuff, which is leading to like all the lessons that you have learned, all the things that you have gone through have brought you through that you can do one of a couple. You're supposed to be working with people to help them. Like, I'm just going to tell you what I'm hearing. And if this either any okay, of these so sound right, you tell me. So it's like either hypnosis, psychology, psychotherapy, therapist, and it's to uh, help people get past their stumbling blocks, help people get past what they're stuck on, help people get into that place. Now that's one side. And then there's another side that's a little bit um, uh -huh. and they're singing that silly country song and fancy was her name. Um, <laughs> I can't even, uh, oh, the words are coming to me and I can't, I can't, if you know the song, it's so where, um, you could also do, and believe me, you don't have to do one thing in this life. You can do many things yes. at once. So if you go into like, Whatever you do, you're going to be using your intuition, and I hear hella intuition. Uh, you're going to be using your intuition with whatever you do. So whatever you're doing, whether it's in the beauty industry, the the I was going to call it the head industry, but the mind industry, uh, whatever it is, your intuition is always going to be there and like take you down this road that's going to be quite magnificent for you. And at some point, I don't know if you're going to use your intuition as a career option or not, but it will be very significant, especially if you do some of these other things. Now, life purpose can change um, several times in your life. So you could do 
if you, there are a number of different careers you could do. And I'm hearing if you jumped on the AI bandwagon, you'd be very good at that. If you went into the beauty industry, you'd be very good at that. If you went into what they're calling the mind industry, so I, uh, uh, psychology or, or even hypnosis, very good at that. Any of those things. And then okay. using that intuition with it. But your everybody's life purpose, every single per person, the purpose they come down here for, and this is people don't always love this answer because they get sick of hearing this, but the purpose is to come down here to have experiences that do not affirm you in the way you want to be affirmed so that you, no matter what happens, you can love yourself unconditionally, no matter what anybody around you says and or does, and you stay in that oneness with who you are and where you came from. Now, we I know that sounds like, but self-love. The, the the easy answer is self love. Everybody's life purpose is. You said have. something about the A. You said how about the, something about the AI. Oh yeah, Art, yeah, 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 yeah. You would be very artificial good. intelligence. Art, yes, you know how AI and chat bot and all of them are now coming out and being very popular, and people don't know how to use it. You could you could easily start a company that uses uh, digital creation and AI and help people learn this and use it for their business or help people use it for their business or be the person who catapults this for people in their business. They're, they're also going to okay. need, and I just want to say this, <clears throat> or you could just Go use ahead. AI on TikTok like a lot of the girls are. I want to say this. There are going to be people who are going to need AI no, okay, deactivators or security because people are going to create AI with other people's names and such. I don't want to say too much about that. And they're going to need people to come through and help them undo that mess. Okay. So if you wanted to go down that road, you okay. could. You're very multi talented, is what I'm getting. Um, but you have to choose what yes, feels the strongest for you because you can do like one of five things right now. You just, you can't pick wrong. Don't and I'm trying to figure out, but I'm stuck. That's the thing. Like you said, I'm talented in many areas, but I'm just trying to figure out what is it. And I'm just stuck. And I'm meditating and trying to find answers. But yeah, but go ahead. Okay. So here's the way that I would say it for someone who really doesn't, it doesn't, it, it, when you have so many skills, you can go into one and use the others. Okay. So, okay. Okay. You don't have to pick one. You can do AI and beauty. You can do AI and hypnosis. You can do AI and Dot, dot, dot. Or you can do hypnosis and beauty. You can you can be fluid okay. in that way. You don't have to pick one. But whatever you do, make sure you have fun doing it. Uh -huh. Because if you're not having fun, it's not a part of your purpose. Okay? We're not Thank here. Thank you. I like that. We're not here to suffer. I don't give a happy hoo-hoo. Like, yes. there are people out there that are doing things because it makes them money. But they're miserable. And exactly, we, but they're not happy. Right. And you, when you're happy, your energy expands and you make yes. more money because that energy brings what your energy brings to you what you love. Your love. What you love when you're in it, when you're when you're in that thing, doing that thing that you love, and I don't care what that thing a dang dang is, whatever it is that you love, if you love love, <laughs> when you're in it, you're going to get more of it and it's going to be amazing. But if, you, if, if you're doing a work you love, like I love, 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 I cannot even express how much I love, 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 love what I do, no matter how many people call me wacko, con artist, my own family thinks I'm crazy. Okay. 
That's on you, babe. Wow. Right, that's not going to stop you. That's not that's on, on what me. You love to do. Yeah, that's not on me, babe. That's on you, babe. You take your thoughts and you go. <laughs> I'm going to stay in my world, in my thing, helping people, doing what I love, talking with my creator and your creator, and we're gonna we're gonna ride this train, okay? But I love it. Yes. So more of yes. it comes to me. It feels good. It's genuine. And I'm all, at the end of the day, I'm always happy. And that's where you want to be. So when you okay. are in that space where you are doing what you love, and and I can tell, Sal can attest to this. Sal also does, he writes books and he does this. And he does have his day job that he's doing because, you know, that's keeping him going. But when he's in this energy, Sal, right? He's in the chat right now on YouTube. Yeah. There is nothing like that energy of doing what you love. So whatever your choices are, and you can you can start to learn one. And if it comes to you and you're just like, boom, 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 go with it because that's it. And you're going to love doing it and playing with it and being in the energy of it. And I do feel like there is something coming through. And I know I, I, I don't get to say this, to, but I, I, I also am a hypnotist. I also help people with hypnosis. There is something coming through that if you did that, it would be something you could do when people needed you, you know, like a side thing or a full-time thing. Yeah. But you would be able, you would just love the results of the people who have gone through stuff that now you can help them heal from that stuff or and or make better choices moving forward okay so that's what i yes. have for you love uh, thank you so much for your patience thank you so okay. much that was okay. so very nice and i really appreciate the messages thank you for the clarity i really appreciate that as well you have a beautiful beautiful spirit thank you, you oh my goodness thank you so much thank you and and bonnie and renee thank you. i feel like bonnie and renee actually are here for you even if they were like friends of the family so ask around and see how that that comes out for you okay love okay Thank you again. Have a good day. You too. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful I was able to help you and answer your question. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go to uh, Tony. I want to cry. Thank you for your message. Oh, Mo. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Second book. Sal's second book is being peer reviewed now. Thank you, Sal. Katarina. Hey. Oh, Katarina, wait. I said your name in the beginning. <laughs> Katarina, very nice. Um, named after my grandmother. She is from, an, oh my gosh, Katarina. Thank you for that. Well, she is around you and she is, she is watching you. She's calling, she's saying it like this. She's saying, Katarina, I'm watching you blossom. I'm watching you blossom. I'm watching you blossom. And she she loves that. Uh, Jay Francis, happy Monday. Um, uh, I, she knows a Willie too. Oh, I love that. Okay. Um, Jermaine is for Genevieve. Thank you for confirming this, you guys. I love it so much. Hey, Laura, welcome to the show. Thank you for these beautiful messages. Absolutely my pleasure, Laura. Um, Hey, Aloha Jay, how are you? Um, oh my goodness, I just lost my space. Uh, oh, thank you, Katerina, for that. Uh, Katerina said, I just have to let you know you are loved. Thank you. That means a lot um, to me, Katerina. Thank you. Um, Okay, A two seven one five M T. Hi, Tony. Do you see me winning my tennis game this weekend? <laughs> one is a double. One is a single. Okay, are you gonna win both? No, you're gonna win one. I feel like you might win the double. Um, when you do the single, don't be dehydrated. You're gonna have to work really. 
hard on energy and hydration is what I'm hearing. Like you might feel fatigued. So make sure you do everything you can to not feel fatigued for your singles match. Okay. So, um, so please make sure of that. Okay. My, my friend. Okay. I'm going to try to get one more caller in and, um, the, the number, um, is, um, Eight five six. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Rosemary from New Jersey. Hey, Rosemaria, how can I help you today? Um, I was wondering if there's any messages on the other side with the situation I'm in. Okay, tell in a me. moment. Okay, I don't have a lot of time left, love, and I don't want to like rush you. Tell me your situation and tell me the name of someone on the other side, love. Uh, the situation is I'm having a lot of issues with my brother. My father passed away, so it's like a lot of no communication now this week with him. And you're not coinciding. Okay. Working together. Okay. Sense. And what's the name of the person on the other side you'd like that information from? Uh... I guess my father or my mother, either one, Gina or Joe. Uh, I should have just said it. I should. Joe's here. I should have just said it in the beginning. I kept hearing Joe, Joe, Joe. Okay, here's what I'm I'm saying. Um, the, the, what I'm hearing. The first thing I'm hearing is let sleeping dogs lie. In other words, don't poke the bear. Not what I thought I was going to say, but what came out. If your brother is not speaking to you, give him time by himself, like a little time out to get his thoughts together. He doesn't think the same way you do, and he doesn't process his thoughts the same way you do. So he needs to have time by himself to let his thoughts come all the way back around and realize some things. He, If you're right there talking to him, he's not going to learn the lesson nor is he going to be able to come around because he's going to be in a constant state of defending himself. Sometimes he needs to walk away to get some self-realization or clarity. And it's okay that you guys aren't talking. You're not res remember. Okay. This is a really, this is a very, um, I'm going to say some things and I want you to think about them late not only now, but maybe later on. Um, remember, you are not responsible, responsible for him. He is capable of making his own choices and decisions and having the consequences for that. All that's going to happen is he's going to resent you if you keep, like, they're using the word harping on him. I'm sorry, I'm using that word. He knows right from wrong, okay? Okay. I'm going to give you an example. Just please listen to my example, even though this isn't what he's doing. When somebody cheats on somebody, they know they're doing something wrong. You don't have to tell them, you shouldn't be putting your dirty dog in somebody else's bun. They know that. But the self-gratification is more important in that moment then the consequences they may not face, okay? There's your analogy. Whatever your brother's doing, the self-gratification is more important than the consequences he may face. Now, I am going to tell you, if he comes to you and asks you, say, these are your choices, you have to choose. But if you tell him, he will always go the other way. Let him have his time. Let him let him fall down and skin his knees. Sometimes that's the only way people learn. And let him come back and be respectful with you. And that is the message that I'm getting from them. And I hope that's helpful, my love. And, and actually, I uh, hit it on a spot. He came to me with a letter from his lawyer. And I'm not agreeing with it. And I'm not answering okay. to it. So if I don't answer, they said uh, rejecting it. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say. You have to literally write out his choices to him.
and let him say, listen, I thought a lot about this and I'm going to write down all the options and where I see them. This doesn't mean it's where you see it, but this is how I see it. If you agree, great. If you don't, great. But this is what I see and let him decide. Now, is, is this over a will or probate or something or money or something? Um, okay. Yeah. Thank you for, for all of it. thank you. Cause I hear, I, I heard will and probate and then I heard money. So here's what you need to do. No matter what his lawyer says, there is the law go with the law love. And if he wants to pout and try to uh, try to, I'm sorry, I'm giggling. He's, if he wants to pout and try to scheme and think if he doesn't talk to you, you're going to cave. You're okay. You're not. You do what is the law, meaning this is the way they wanted it, and this is the way I'm doing it. Just because this is what you want, it doesn't mean it's going to happen. And his lawyer does that. Your brother just thinks he can manipulate you right now. And my thing is, it. it's not about you against him. It's about honoring. And I'm, I'm sorry, I know I'm getting a little passionate about this. I'm going to take a breath. It's about honoring what the last wishes of someone and remind him of that. This is not about you and I. This is not about whatever. This is about honoring their last wishes. This is what they wanted, and this is what we're doing. And you might want to point out how ridiculous he is for wasting money on a lawyer. That 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 right there, like, don't waste money on a lawyer. Just do just do what it says. Do a shop bag. Okay, that's, I have to watch the words I say on, on, on the show. But here's what I'm going to say. Just, just do what's right and stick to your guns and don't be bullied. Okay, love? And if he doesn't ever okay. want to talk to you again because you're, you honored their final wishes, that's on you, babe. Okay? That's not, that's not on you. That's on him. That's not on you. That's his problem, not your problem. And when people are guilty or spoiled, they act like this. And neither one of those are your problem. Okay, love? Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, just that, it's answer and reject it and, and let it go after that. Thank you so much, Got my it. love. And be strong through this. Thank, Thank you, you for calling in, love. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, guys, thank you. I Oh, my gosh. I want to see if there's another question. Uh, uh, do you see me getting a second interview? Okay, first name, last name wants to know. Do oh, oh, There's so many people asking questions that I didn't get to, and I'm sorry. I am back Wednesday at 7 p.m. I'm going to try to go through these questions very quickly. Everybody gets one question. So first name, last name, one question. Um Jennifer, does my spirit guide have any guidance for me? Seconds. Uh, I am not sure how to get unstuck in my life. Let's do a clearing uh, for anybody who's stuck. Let's clear that now. We're going to clear first name, last name. Uh, do you see me getting a second interview for this corporate job I went on? Is he going to get a second interview with that company? I get yes, no, yes, no. But I do also get you're going to get a better while you're waiting for while you're waiting for the answer from this seconds. company, another company is going to come forward and scoop you up, scoop you away, get you get you where I'm sorry for the comical way I'm saying it. But yes, that's that's that that's what they're going to do. OK, everybody. Um, I love you all so much. Please, 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 please join me Wednesday. If I did not get to you today, Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central, I will get to you. Thank you and have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you.